Hey, hi guys, I'm Jitin Vaswani from Bloggers Ideas and I'm here at Chiang Mai SEO Conference and I'm with the guy, the CEO of SEO Butler and his name is Jonathan. So, Jonathan, how did you start it into SEO? So, can you share your journey into SEO, man? Please? Sure. Um, so, it's been um, a really wild journey for me because I never intended to go into the SEO, SEO world, right? SEO world, right? Like so many other people, right. I was doing work that I didn't really enjoy anymore and I tried to find a way to like get out of it, right? Okay. So I started um, finding like productized services that I could fulfill. Right. So the first ever thing that we did is we uh, built an article writing team that okay. could write articles for other marketers, right? right? Uh -huh. And then from there, that was five years ago. Okay. It just sort of like went forward and forward and forward and we added service after service, the right. team grew and you know, now five years later, we have um, SEO Butler, we have an agency, we have a, a full-time office. And so that's the, the, the macro view of how I got started. So how big is your team right now? If I can ask you this, this sure. question. So in the UK, we have eight full-time team members in our office. Right. We have two on this side of the world in okay. Asia, and we have 50 in the US okay. that are working as writers and editors writers. and that kind wow. of stuff. So what is SEO Butler? If, 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 like my, if my audience, they really want to know about your business, so what is SEO Butler? Sure, so SEO Butler is a productized service business that basically helps marketers, specifically SEOs, right. with the tools and products that they need to do their job, right? right? No matter if it's for clients or if it's for affiliates, right. like we do content, we do link building, and we're able to do it at scale. So a wow. lot of guys start with us when they have a small project. Small projects, they, right. They get us to write a little bit of content, right. they start making some money, and the great thing is that they can grow with us because we're also able to help them when they need 50,000 words of content writing, right. et cetera, right. you know? So, right. We have become the backbone of a lot of SEO businesses, uh, which is really great. So what is your monetization strategies for affiliate-based SEO sites? Okay, so there are a couple of different things that I think not a lot of people are doing. The, right. the first thing is, when you own an affiliate site, right. work with the company that you're affiliated with right. and ask them for more money especially if you're driving traffic right. already and you're right. driving conversions, right. they value you. Many people say, well, okay, they pay me, you know, whatever, 5%, it's right. 5% and that's it. So they're very happy with that. Yeah, but yeah. get in touch with that company and say, look, I'm gonna need 7% or I'm gonna take my affiliate traffic and send it somewhere else, right? right? right. That's the first thing. The right. second thing is you can rent out your pixel. Right. right. So like you have a Facebook pixel on your affiliate right. site, right. you find a company that's in that space and right. say, hey guys, you run Facebook ads, do you want to rent my Facebook pixel and uh, pay oh, me for wow. it monthly, right? Because for them it's gold, right? But, like a, but a site that is making maybe 300 or $500 right. could easily be making another $1,000 or 2000 or whatever per month just from renting out the pixel. The only <sighs> disclaimer I will give with that is make sure how legal that is in your country yeah. and how much paperwork you need to file to be sure that you're not doing anything illegal. Yeah, because I never heard about like pixel renting. Like it's a it's a new term for me to be very honest. Like it, it really works. It's really great. Okay. And what's your hiring process? Like you were talking on, on the stage about hiring people with empathy and gratitude. So mm. what's your hiring process for SEOs or writers? Sure. So can you share your basic process, please? Sure. So the first thing is that we always hire predominantly for the, um, the the motivation that that person has, right? Right, it's very so, important. Exactly, so the skill set that they currently have comes right. second, because I would rather have a highly motivated, less skilled person that I can teach the Train skill them, right. than a really skilled, super demotivated person, oh, right? Oh, yes. So yes, that's the true. first thing. The second thing is we tend to hire more junior people and have them grow with us. So oh. we, it saves money for the business, right. but it also means that they don't bring any bad habits, right? And I think that's really important. Of course, 
as your business grows, you're going to have to hire a couple of higher up people, like more senior people. But with those, it's going to be a totally different hiring process of than course. for the, the, the entry level guys, right? Because some of the seniors, like if, if you have a senior people in, in your team, they will try to play the dirty politics, right? For sure, for sure. So exactly. that is happening for sure, right? Exactly. So you're hiring the juniors and training them and building an army, right? Exactly. And you have to, and you have to make sure that they know how much you value them. Yes. So that they want to stay with you. One of the great risks in today's environment is that they join, they yes. get some experience and they leave. And they leave, yeah. Right? But the only way that you can keep them is by making them love where they work. And that's the only thing that's really going to work. And pay them like if they pay deserve the payment, right? Exactly. Pay them fairly, right? Like I'm not saying pay them a crazy amount of money. Yes. I'm just saying don't pay them a tiny amount where right. they can't afford to live a quality like a decent quality life because it's very important because a lot of people are just trying to hire hire the cheap resources and they are not paying them like exactly and that, that's very wrong like that's like a hundred percent i totally agree and that's where the churn will come from because if they're not if they can't afford a decent lifestyle then they're gonna move to a job where they think they're getting enough money as soon as they get it, as soon as they're offered that job, right? right? But if you're paying them a decent amount of money yes. and they're happy in the role, yes, they're going to stay. They're, they're going to stay in your life, like 100%. in your company, right? A hundred percent. It's true. And Jonathan, one of my like personal question is to you, like how do you keep in balance between your professional life and your personal life? Like how do you keep in balance? Because as an entrepreneur, like yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. Like you have a ton of a tons of work at yeah, your business. So how sure. do you keep in balance between your personal and sure. professional life? It's very difficult. The first how do thing you do is, it like the first thing is I um, I uh, invited my wife into the company, right? Wow. So that's even crazier. But actually, in a weird way, and I'm not sure if this will work for everybody, yes. but in a weird way, it's really helped us. Because before we were very disconnected on what our like problems or anxieties or stress levels were coming from because yes. you don't want to come home and then relive that moment yes, that gave true. you the stress or the anxiety true, true. just to tell your partner. Yes. But because we're in the same business, when we come home, we're done, right? Like we, 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 we've already gone through everything that day together. We already Process, know right. everything that's going right, on. Right. And then we can disconnect and, and, and just sort of like focus on home life. But at the same time, it is very difficult. And my biggest recommendation there is two things. Make sure that business stays just that. It's just business, right? Okay. Like, it's really important. People get very emotionally invested, and that's, yes, and that's important true. to a point. Yeah. But you also have to be able to make mathematical decisions about right. your business and let, don't focus them so much on emotion. And then the second thing is be very self-aware of how much time out you need, right? So like, yes. like how much you need to just remove yourself from the situation so that you can recuperate and all of that. Very important. It's very important. And what kind of the clients you work with? Like, so can sure. you share? Oh, so basically we, um, we work with a, a couple of different businesses. We work with a lot of agencies. So SNO, okay, SEO agency agencies, okay, yeah. SEO agencies, and right. uh, they use a lot of like our content and our links and that sort the of stuff, search, right? Okay, right? We also work with a lot of affiliate SEOs. Uh, so these are the guys that are going to do the same thing, but they're doing it for their affiliate website builds and stuff like that, right? And then finally, we have an agency which mostly focuses on e-commerce SEO. Um, and so that's where we work with, like, just with the e-commerce brands. We help them do better, and we apply all of that knowledge that we have from working with SEO working all with day SEO. on these projects, right? Okay, fine. One last question. Yes. How is your experience at Chiang Mai SEO conference? Like, it's it's, it's going it's, like pretty massive. Like. It's been crazy. I think that the big game changer right. in this conference is right. almost every person that is here is an entrepreneur is somebody that knows how to do seo how right. to run seo every single person that you speak with at this conference they are at some level they're at some level yes and so the level of the information that is shared not just on the stage yes but just 
the person next to the coffee, yes. right? Yes, yes. Is mm. so much higher it's than so you get higher. at a lot of other events, and that's what makes this event so special. And that's why you know we've been at every single one of these events for the last uh, like three years that they've been going on, and we're always going to come back. Yes, thank you so much. Like, like you have shared your stuff about your SEO journey, your SEO butler. So thank you so much, Jonathan, and see you next year in Thanks Chiang Mai SEO. Maybe for sure. we meet again then. Yeah. For sure. Okay, thank you so much, man. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day.